Hey, Bass Geek here. We are on the water, and I want to show you some really cool new gear. All right, geeks, we have got an incredible small business unboxing, man, and I mean a ton of gear. I cannot wait to show it to you, but as always, let's take care of a little bit of business first. Hey, go check the hats out. Bass Geek, you guys said you wanted the hats. We've got two different colors. You guys voted on them. You, want, you, you got the two colors you wanted. Uh, go check them out. You know, we've got t-shirts, hoodies, shorts, you know, you name it, man, it's out there. Go check out the site. Uh, it's uh, BassGeekFishing.com, and then you just hit the gear tab, and you're there. All right, now, let's get to digging in to some of these awesome baits. Okay, guys, so I didn't want to unbox this on the water. This is where we're going to start right here, uh, and, and you'll see why. This is from one of you geeks out there. Lucas, uh, you can follow him at Lucas Henry on Instagram, but he's got a killer TikTok channel. Met him at Knoxville, uh, and it's called First Time Vinyl, okay? Uh, we'll put links down here so you can go check him out, but he does some really cool stuff, and he sent me this ginormous package. Let's unbox it. All right, yeah, that's cool. Something we're gonna hang on the basket wall. He does something called spin art. Check that out. That is so cool. Luke, always sign, man, sign it. That is incredible. So the next time I see you, Luke, you gotta sign my spin art for me. Uh, like I said, he's got an incredible channel over on TikTok. Make sure you guys go check him out. That is really cool. And we're going to find a place to hang here in Bass Geek headquarters. Okay, so these baits weren't actually sent to me. They were actually gave to me at the Red Crest. You know, it's awesome working those shows. And I didn't really at the Red Crest or the uh, Bassmaster Classic get to walk around and look at a lot of baits. Uh, because you awesome geeks showed up in mass, man. I mean, you guys were out there. And so if I'm there, me shopping takes a back seat to hanging out with you geeks, man. I I'd very much rather be hanging out with you all. So this was one of the things at the Red Crest down in Charlotte this year that I actually stumbled across. And this is J3 Fishing, okay? This is the J3 Cross. Now, why they call it the cross is because this, uh, and, and if you go back and look at the Red Crest video, I think he jokingly says that it's uh, the spinner bait that identifies as a chatter bait. And I'm not gonna tear it open and show you how to do it. We're gonna do probably uh, at least a short on this because it is one of the most unique baits I've ever seen. And I know you guys are gonna go crazy about it. So keep an, keep a watch out for the short or if you're on TikTok or wherever. Basically, I'm on all the interwebs, go follow me. It's either Bass Geek or Bass Geek Fishing. Uh, but we'll talk about this in depth a little bit later. This is, you know, he gave me a, several different colors, like several different sizes. This is the uh, Wally White. This is the Ghost Blue Sartreuse. This is a Ghost, my favorite color. Ghost Olive, probably my second favorite color in a couple different sizes. This is an ounce, and this is a half ounce. I love it, man. He knows I like the fish deep. This is the Hartwell Demon. Ghost Sartreuse Blue Ice, or blue Ice Blue Shad. Sorry about that. And Ice Blue Ghost, another really cool color. Love the ghost colors. You know, you guys know I'm in super clear water most of the time. Now, check this out. So you'll notice, again, spinnerbaits, chatterbaits. These are a hybrid. You can make it anything you want. I can't wait to do this video. I know it's gonna kill you guys. That's why I'm showing it to you first. You guys are gonna love this when I show it to you. Now, check this out. These are the spinnerbait arms and the, and the connectors for it. It's gonna look a lot more complicated, I promise you. Wait till I show you. It's super simple, super easy and it's really cool. If you can't wait for me, make sure you go check out their website, j3fishing.com. All right, here we go. This is the wire and blades, double willow nickel, double willow gold, double willow white. You guys know I'm a big fan of white blades. So, okay, so that is what makes it a spinnerbait. 
Now check this out. This is what is so cool. You can make that same head into a bladed jig or chatterbait style jig. Here is the depth charge blade, which is uh, the wire and blades depth charge bladed jig attachment. Here's the two that they gave me on that. Can't wait to show you this stuff, guys. Pretty incredible, pretty unique bait. Uh, if you want to see a little more, even on my channel, go check out the Red Crest. He actually does a demonstration on that video. So now we're gonna talk about Ramsey baits, man. Check it out, he has sent me a ton of cool stuff. Hey guys, you know I always say, you can always tell a good company by the quality of packaging. Check this out now. So these are some small ribbed swim baits that he's made for me. These are like, I don't know, whoops, I'm throwing everything, but check it out, it's like a dark purple coming to a lighter purple. Makes great trailers. And you know, I'll put links to everything in the description, but that is a killer little color right there. And then he made me some of the sour grapes. Now, I don't know what he calls this color, but this is one of my favorite colors to use uh, around smallmouth and dirtier water. Uh, on Alabama rigs, great little color. He also sent me a ton of my, some of my favorite drop bait colors. Check this out, I love this blue and white color he sent. And then of course he sent me that kind of purple color. Surprise, surprise, one of my favorites, that sour grape style color. This is also another bait that I've really been tinkering with, especially around a large mouth. It's a little swim bait that's got flat sides. It's got a really subtle action to it. And when I'm around those large mouth, it's kind of what I like. He sent me some in that purple color again. See how flat that is? It's got a great shad sort of look to it. And of course, he sent me some sour grapes, man. That is one of my favorite A-Rig colors in the world right there especially during the early spring around those small mouth. What an incredible color. Now we get into my favorite swim baits in the world. Check this out. Now he made this color for me. This is kind of a natural shad. I really like that milky white body, that gray back. One thing I love to do about with this, this is for a little dirtier water. Take you a sartreuse pen and really put a line down the side of these. Holy cow, you wanna talk about great in dirty water. Large mouth, small mouth, they'll all eat them. It is an incredible looking little bait, man. He did a great job, exactly what I asked for with these baits. These are like a 3.75. They're a little more girthy than your Kitex, so you're gonna get big bites. Love these when the water temperature starts to warm. Once you get up in those 60 degree uh, water temps, these baits are incredible. And let me tell you, that little bait right there, super subtle. I gotta pick me up some more. I think this might be the last ones that I have in this color. I always gotta have a Tennessee shad type color. Guys, you're not gonna believe this. The camera's not gonna do this, this color any sort of justice, I'm telling you. It's a new type of pigment, and I'm telling you, it is so really cool looking. This, I mean, I, I've just gotta show you this last one. It's, it's incredible. I don't know if you can see it, this green back kind of changes color and the blue is kind of a pearl, but I mean, it's truly, truly incredible. Like I said, you just need to check them out. I appreciate that he made these for me. This is another color that I was really looking looking for. And I think we're gonna catch a bunch on that color this year. Now we're gonna get into a little bit bigger swim bait. These are the five inch. And again, you've got that really good natural shad you know that silver that almost translucent belly great in lower light conditions in super clear water uh, that that color right there has caught me a ton of fish in a ton of different places again now he he's got me these and like i said i love to put that sartreuse line down the side of these they're just money man they're money now we get into the bigger version of those other baits. These are the greenbacks, almost like I said, like a, almost like a Tennessee shad. I mean, just the pigment on them is just insane. How it, it, it's almost like pearl essence to it. And then last but not least, he gave me a bunch of these. These are uh, some of my favorite colors. I really think I got a couple of places that I think these are gonna really pay off. 
And again, I can't stress to you, I really hope you can see that because it is incredible. And these are solid body and look how soft they are. Solid body swim baits. These things are great in the summer. One of the things I love about these, one of the reasons why they're one of my favorite swim bait bodies, see the flat side, see the flat back. These are very subtle swim baits in clear water. They will get bit better. It's, it's kind of like throwing a flat side crankbait. A little more subtle in that clear water. And then if you need for them to stand out, you just put some brighter colors on. So Jeremy's back here off camera. He's actually taking shots so we can get through this. We've been out fishing on Top Secret Lake P. We're getting ready to go back out on uh, Top Secret Lake S, which is South Holston, I'll tell you guys. But right now, and for probably the past two, three years, maybe even longer than that, one of the hottest worms is from a company called JS2 Custom Baits. And this is AM Sunrise. And I mean, ask Jeremy, we have clocked them when they're on the beds on this color. It, it's, it's awesome. For whatever reason, they just hate it. But it is an incredible little color. Now, he sent me some other stuff. Look at this. I've not tried this color yet, but I'd say the small mouth will absolutely despise this color right here. So, Jeremy's giving me the thumbs up on that one behind there. But we're going tomorrow. Hopefully, this cold front hasn't shut the small mouth uh, spawn down. He's got a real small, I mean real small. I'm going to guess this is close to like a 2.8. And a, and a really interesting color, kind of a muted color of a swim bait, of a little rib swim bait. Check that out. Maybe like a, almost like a, a bone. I think that'll be real good when you're out there and you're sniping. If you guys don't know what sniping is, it's where you're out there and you're looking for bass that are chasing shad or just cruising down the bank. And that is a uh, really cool little 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 color right there. Speaking of sniping and slash Demiki rig slash tight lining, whatever you want to call it now, check this out. He's got his own sort of drop baits, uh, little minnow baits. There's kind of, again, one of my favorite, that sour grape type of color. This color, like I said, I don't know what the color is, but man, that is a cool looking little color right there. Almost kind of motor oilish. Some really great colors. Now this one, uh, if it's ultra clear water and you need to be uh, super stealthy, do you even see it? I mean, it is, <laughs> that is about as translucent as translucent gets right there. Clear water though, I'm telling you, it can be a killer. Another one of the drop baits. Great looking color right there, translucent. Got a lot of fine speck in it. Now he does make some really cool, again, you know, JS2 baits. Uh, JS2Baits.com, he makes some really cool, and I think this is like his lavender shad, but really great looking swim bait right there. And then this is kind of like a, a perch, maybe a gill color. Oh yeah, five inch gill. Ha <laughs> ha, look there, I guessed it. <laughs> so great swim baits. So he sent me kind of some sample packs of some baits that I really like. Now, you guys have seen these. These are the uh, forward-facing swim baits, and they're, they're, they're the same size as like a 3.3 Kitek, but they're really fat on the side, so they help show up on your forward-facing sonar. And guys, they have an incredible swimming action. Uh, I broke a very big one off on Del Hollow, one of these. And what's great about it is, you know, a lot of people are throwing these little small things out there. You pick up one of these, this fat, girthy, juicy morsel, and uh, you're gonna attract those big bites doing it. Uh, several different colors there, a little variety pack, and another one. A couple of different colors right there. Again, another little bit of a variety pack. You want to know something that's a great spinner bait or even a chatter bait trailer? All right, here you go. Check that out. These things are really cool. And it's kind of the same thing that helped win the heavy hitters this past weekend as a spinner bait trailer. Check that out. Again, something else that you can use 
very subtle straight tail something you can use when sniping and where i'm from this may be one of the hottest baits in the early spring when you are really truly sniping for bass uh wish we would have had them out here today because that is what me and jeremy ended up having to do we, we were fishing brush piles out in very deep water um you know it, it was just kind of what was going on we thought there was going to be a spawn but a severe cold front come through and this is what may 3rd right uh, may 3rd or 4th yeah and if it's may 4th may the 4th be with you okay so anyway right here is the ff shad in tennessee gill check that out now that is a swim bait and again it's made to be fat so you can really see it on that forward facing sonar and uh listen boys and girls this is pink something but i've rubbed it off the back but check that out that right there may very well be going with me to cumberland for my next tournament because they like the pink up there check that out that is kind of a uh rainbow trout color killer color right there then we've got that sort of you know i i don't know what the color of that one is but it's kind of it's almost a blue incandescent bluish green on there really translucent good looking color same here a little more natural color right there just some I mean, look at that. I mean, look at the blue in that. I hope you guys can see it. Just some really great colors from JS2. Check that out. The pink in that. Good translucent baits. Then, man, he just he just bulked us out with some wild colors. These are a little bit smaller, uh, so I'm jacked up about this, too. Check it out. Look at those little juicy morsels. A mm. lot of different colors in here. I mean a lot of different colors. Very unique swim baits. Very unique little swim baits. Again, some of the smaller ones, ton of different colors, just like a variety pack. And then last but not least, check that out. Kind of a citrus shad sort of feel to it. All right, guys, so we got some baits in now from BBGT at uh, ballsybaits.com. Check that out. We appreciate them sending some baits in. Good packaging again. Good looking big worms here. Got a, uh, let's see what this is. So this is the, uh, I'm gonna say Triune 203. This is metal green. Great looking bait. It's got a killer looking little uh, curved kind of paddle tail on it be great for a shaky head or even a texas rig great looking bait really like that great looking color here i think that says molt really reminds me of like a bold bluegill one of my favorite colors this time of year i can't read what that says but it says a metal chrome look and it really is it, it really has a, a shine to it that's pretty impressive now here's something i know you guys are going to be jacked up about and these are some crawls really like the style of claws on these i bet they've got some really good flap on them this is uh, i believe it says gill great looking color right there really really looks like a gill they make great trailers for a jig uh be fished by themselves again i think that is the black color it's got a little bit of blue purple flake in it these are the Crawl 095s. That looks like a Burns, maybe? But it's really kind of a, this flat brown. Good looking color there for natural. And then this is just Crawl. It's got a little bit of red in it. A little bit of green. Good looking stuff. Good looking Crawl, guys. Make sure you check these out. And then last but not least, man, these are some wild looking baits right here. Some really big. These are the Gill Crawls. I tell you what, that would be great, like flipping, especially once you get around some beds. Oh, especially in this color. This is, again, that sort of black color. And this color right here would be great for doing that sort of thing. That says, I think it just says BF. And then they've got a killer looking swim bait here too, man. Check that out. That tail is massive. I bet that thing has got some great action to it. 
when you swim it really slow. And that's in Pearl. It's called the Hextail 158. And I can see why. That is really cool. So again, that's it from uh, Ballsy Baits BBGT. Man, make sure you go check them out at their website, ballsybaits.com. And I appreciate all you geeks out there. This is from Trevor in Joshua, Texas. What's going on, Trevor, man? Check this out. He sent me some really killer hair jigs. I love they've got some sort of soft plastic on the back of them, kind of like a minnow bait. I guarantee these bad boys will work great again, you know, out there sniping for those big bass. Look at that. Great looking, really supernatural action and color. I guarantee these things. Thank you, Trevor. I appreciate the heck out of it. Check this out. This is from my guy, 304 Lures. And uh, this is something I've been really looking forward to getting. He had told me about this swim bait that he'd been created, that he has tested. And of course, man, check it out. He sent me a cool, cool camo hat. That is pretty bad. Great looking hat, 304. Thank you very much, brother. Guys, he makes some really cool baits. Whew, gosh, they got some flavor to them. This is the Flip Nasty Green Pumpkin. This is a great color. He does a great color in this. This is Flip Nasty in the blaze. Man, you talk about a springtime killer right there. Green Pumpkin Red in the Flip Nasty. Love these baits. And then, of course, he's got me some grubs. I always need the solid white. Make a great spinnerbait trailer. Glimmer Pearl. And I'll show you something here in a minute, man. I love that color right there. Of course, green pumpkin. Got to have a good green pumpkin grub. Then, I'm telling you, one of the most unique tails. There's a big deal. If you haven't seen this, uh, I did a video last year, and I was talking about this particular tail. It really gives it some wiggle. It's got a, it's got a cup at the end of it, at the back. But this is his twerk shad, of course, in white. We've got a twerk shad in pearl, and these are uh, five inch. Always got to have the magic shad, twerk shad. And a color that's awesome, me and Jeremy actually had a pack out today using them, and that is the twerk shad in glimmer pearl. That is a kicking color right there. Last but not least, guys, man, check this out. This is called the Gladiator. It is a new swim bait, a killer design by 304 Lures. This is the GL4. Now, we're gonna do a little bit more on this swim bait as time goes on, but I mean, check it out. It's It's got, you know, kind of the weight forward head. I, I don't even know how to describe this thing. Just check it out. It is. It's got the fins that kind of keep it killed out. Uh, it comes with nail weights. It's got a killer treble hook in it. Um, cannot wait to put this thing to the test and see how it swims. I know he's super excited about it. Uh, this is the GL5 in the Gladiator color. And last but not least, basically like a pearl white, the GL1 in the Gladiator color. Check it out, Champion Jigs has sent us some stuff. I mean, the whole booklet and everything. Check that out. We've got the best seller back here, which is the Oops Bluegill. I can understand why it's a good looking jig. But I mean, check out all the stuff from Ball Jigs. Love the pamphlet. Hey, the guy on the front, he's got a 304 Lures on. So that's pretty cool. Uh, all kinds of colors you can get. That is uh, pretty neat. Thank you for sending me that. Let's actually see what they sent us. All right, they know I love some buzz baits. We got one with a clacker and one without a white and a black. I mean, what, what other colors do you really need? And both of these are in half ounce. Then we've got a double willow leaf and a double Colorado in a half ounce in spinner baits. Good looking spinner baits right there too. Like the heads on them. And then we've got a bunch of jigs. Here's some football jigs, three quarters ounce, my favorite summertime weight. This is the Fall Crawl and Missouri Crawl. June Bug. Guys, I'll tell you, in dirty water, a lot of people will go to a black or black and blue color. Trust me, pick up a June Bug. We've got a couple. Here's like an Arky style head, and this is the Perfect Crawl and Ditch Pickle. 
dirty mud bug and oops bluegill that's some ball head jigs good looking ball head jigs right there oops bluegill and blue magic i don't know what kind of head but it looks like a structure type head a stand-up structure type head demon crawl and green pumpkin california 420 and gilly monster and then check this out we got a couple of sides of ball heads man i can use those for a ton of different things from say dropping or sniping to from minnow baits to pretty much anything and i love it they've got the screw locks on there again champion jigs man go check them out again links in the description guys you know we've uh, the, the small business deal has been really really booming it's been really cool we appreciate all you guys sending baits in you know it's just nice to be able to try out a bunch of different uh, baits from a lot of different bait makers hey guys here's a small business that's near and dear to my heart they're close by they're good guys i've met them several times at the watson's open house and that's fuji custom tackle they sent me a little notice that says thank you so much for giving uh, out small businesses a shout out uh, on your youtube channel enjoy some of your uh, enjoy some of our products hey thank you guys for sending them sending me some you guys know i enjoy a bunch of their products anyway so they make a killer drop head a killer minnow style head this is the three eighths very natural color right there three alt hook this is their fuji custom tackle this is our weedless football head this is pretty cool check that out you can use that for a shaky head nice little football head got that ewg and then we've got a couple of different blade baits wow yeah guys if y'all don't know i love on the ledges to throw a big bladed jig this is the abyss and they sent me another one in a really natural color two very good looking colors now, one of my favorite things from them, and it's something that involves fish care, and it's a, what I call a pocket knocker or a plug knocker. Not necessarily a plug knocker. When you say plug knocker, you think about the big one, you know, that you gotta tie a rope to. Not quite these, check these out. This is the one and a quarter ounce, man. Check them out. So they, they're hybrid, and they sent me like several packs of them because I love them. We're gonna do, we're gonna go out and get snagged up and I'm gonna show you guys how to use this. You know, I know a lot of you are like, oh, you know, you, you was fake, you wasn't even snagged in that one. Well, I mean, you know, I, I'm not diving in the water to show you that I'm snagged, but I mean, if the rod's bent, it's either a fish or a branch or a rock or something, right? But these are great because not only will they get your lures free and they'll save you money, they'll also save bass. So what's great about them is you clip those to the fins and they'll keep those bass upright. And you know, if you're in a tournament, you know, I don't, I don't suggest riding bass around all day. You do have to ride them around. You need to put some sort of uh, live well treatment in there, but this will help them expel that gas, keep them right side up, and they'll actually expel that air themselves uh, over a period of time. So good stuff. I appreciate that. And I'll show you how to use them as a plug knocker a little bit later all right guys that is it for the small business showcase as always questions comments in the comment section below guys go check out these companies uh they're all you know small local mom and pop shop probably one guy in a garage uh, a lot of times making these baits so go check them out you know i'm not sponsored by any of these companies uh, not affiliated with them. I don't get anything uh, other than they send me some cool free baits, which, you know, who can't use more baits, right? Um, you know, ask my buddy Tackle Junkie. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, I just love giving the small guy a little bit of a, a little bit of love. They don't tend to get it from the bigger YouTubers. Not that I'm a big YouTuber, uh, you know, but as long as I do this, I'm always going to do that. Like I said, like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell so you get the notifications. 100% Watch Squad! You guys are awesome. And as always, you geek truck.